Hey guys, Cassie Deputy, and this is Deputy Tribe. Hey guys, Cassie Deputy. This is Deputy Tribe. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Cassie Deputy and I'm a home educating mom to eight babies. And on this channel, we talk a lot about um, home educating, child training, ministry, homesteading, healthy eating, all sorts of different things, politics, uh, you name it, we talk about it. So um, today we are going to be reviewing a math curriculum that is subscription-based, online, video-based, all of that stuff called CTC Math. Now, if you're unfamiliar with CTC Math, it is based in Australia, and it goes, I believe, preschool all the way up through calculus in high school. Um, it's a subscription fee you pay annually. I think you might be able to pay monthly, but you can check out the website in the description below. And they do have like large family subscriptions where you just pay one fat, flat, one fat, <laughs> one flat fee, and then you can add all your students. So if you have a very large family, this curriculum is one of your best friends. Seriously, this is a really good curriculum for large families. Um, so I'm basically going to walk you through what it looks like on the inside. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about how we used it and any final thoughts I have. So let's go do that now. All right, guys, I am gonna give you a walkthrough of the dashboard of CTC Math. So this is what it looks like when you sign in as a parent. Um, here you can see each of my children's profiles on the right-hand side. I have Ahav and Alicia, they're my seventh graders. Arye is my first grader. Elias is my fourth grader. Evelyn is my preschooler and Haven is my fifth grader. So I can see how many lessons they've each completed. Um, I can see what percentage they're doing. Um, it literally gives me um, all of their progress and things like that. So I have all the information I need right here. It also um, has two parents. So my husband gets emailed their report cards as well as they complete things and tasks and that type of stuff. So also here I can assign tasks. So if I hit this task button, I can actually add tasks for them to do. I can pick the date, I can title it, I can describe it, I can click which one of my kids I want to have this task, what lessons um, I want them to accomplish. Um, I can even add specific questions on a question bank, um, which is kind of cool. So there's a lot of different um, personalization things that I can add for each student. So if you're really into like lesson building and making sure that your kids progress, like if they're struggling on what they need to do each and every day and every week, um, usually I just have my kids log in and they do a lesson or maybe two lessons a day. So we don't really use the tasks. Um, here's the question bank wizard. So this tool, you can add questions to your question bank. You can title them. Um, you can pick which lesson they're from. You can do preset questions. So that's kind of neat. Um, you can generate questions, easy ones, hard ones. So like, for instance, okay, counting and colors. That's probably a terrible example. Let's see. Let's go way up here. Multiplication, repeated so let's do all courses, basic math pre-algebra, part one, um, let's do fractions. So here's all of the lessons. We can pick 20 questions. Final check, we can save that to the question bank. Oh, you gotta name it, so I can name it Twins Review. I can save this. Now I can go to my tasks here and I can assign um, from the question bank that I want them to do this set of review questions. 
so I can check it, save this task. Oh, I have to add recipients. So I want Hava and Alicia to do this task. Save this task. And it saves, and then when they log in, they can see it and they can do the questions from the lessons that I picked. So that's how the task thing works. So now, if your child logs in, let's see what it looks like at a student's view. So let's log in as a Hava. So she would just go to ctcmath.com and she would log in as a student. But this is what her dashboard looks like. So here she can see she has one task. So she can click that task. There's the task I assigned her. If it's overdue or completed, she can click it. And then she can start it. Now I didn't add any questions to this bank, but you can add preset questions or whatever. Um, so she can do that or she can just go right to lessons and it'll bring her where she left off last, um, which is right here. So she can continue with those. But here's how it looks. So you have elementary, you have junior high, middle school, and then you have high school, okay? So elementary here, Ahava has access to everything all the way up through high school, if you can see that. So what I love about this is she's not constrained to seventh grade math. So my one-year subscription for her, she can get as far as she wants to in that year. She can continue with basic math and pre-algebra, she can do measurement, geometry, and move on to Algebra 1. So my very advanced students in math can keep progressing, and they don't have to purchase another level, which is really nice. Um, so here, she's doing basic math and pre-algebra. There's Part 1. There's Part 2. Part 3. And Part 4. So she's working through Part 1. Um, she's working a little bit on each of the first two, so she's kind of mixing it up. So she would click where she's at. So these ones, she's on division of integers. And here is what the lesson looks like. So this is what I mean by one lesson a day is how we kind of do it. So you basically watch the video lesson. This one's two minutes long. Now this lesson we're looking at division. Now the same rules apply as they did in multiplication. So a positive and a negative, when we're dividing that, we come up with a negative answer. A negative divided by a positive will come up with a negative as well. So the mixed means minus rule holds. So there's our mixed, we come up with a minus. There's. So I'm just going to kind of scan through the lesson. You can see he gives examples, he walks them through, and it's a super short two-minute lesson. So then she progresses to questions, start questions, and she goes ahead and enters all of them, and it tells her if she got it correct or wrong, but it does not tell her what she did wrong if she does get it incorrect, which is one of the things that I really didn't like about CTC Math was the... If you got something wrong, it was really difficult to try to figure out what you did wrong. And um, we had one incident where we actually emailed the company and uh, one of the workers tried to walk me through a problem, I would say, four to six times and we still didn't understand it. Um, so we just kept moving on, but um, we never really did get a full understanding of what was wrong there and we tried working back and forth with them. But um, so that's one of the things about CTC math I didn't like as much. But here you can view the worksheet. So if you want them to work on a physical worksheet, that's totally an option, which I really liked. Um, you can also look at the worksheet and then enter your answers here instead of doing the digital play by play. And then you can view the solutions when you're finished, which is cool. Um, as you go through, oh man, this is weird. As you go through the lesson um, on the video on the question tab here, it will tell you what the correct answer is if you got it wrong. Um, and then if you, as a parent, I can set, okay, they have to get at least 80% or they have to do it again. And you can move that up to 90%. You can move that down to 60%, whatever you want it to do. So when she completes the questions, if she got less than 80% wrong, she'll just have to do it again. And it'll be different questions, um, but with the same similar 
similar thing. Now you'll notice there's no advertisings, there's no animated things. It's very blank and not distracting, um, which is nice for children who will sit there and play with their backgrounds when they're supposed to be doing math or, you know, messing around with um, maybe game options that a curriculum offers. So I do appreciate that it's um, blank. So obviously you can pick your color schemes, um, but but there's no real distractions or anything like that. So that's basically the walkthrough um, of CTC Math. So that's how it's laid out. Really, really easy to navigate. Um, you might be wondering what it's like as a toddler. So now Evelyn is my preschooler. So here is what she's working on. So she's working on her numbers and counting and recognizing numbers. So she just finished those, it looks like, or she almost did. She got a few that she needs to redo. So zero and counting to 10. Let's take a look at that lesson so you get an idea of how young you can be to use CTC math. Zero and counting to 10. Well, there's the number zero. Zero means nothing. This is what it looks like as a word. Zero. How many tools in the toolbox? Well, there's a toolbox. I wonder how many tools are in it. Let's open it up and see. Hmm, nothing there. So how many tools? Zero. There are zero tools in the toolbox. And how many wheels on the car, we're going to count up to 10, we're going to count some objects, we're going to write them out. So no oranges, you see oranges. that. We have so now her questions, how many are there? So she would count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, she would write 8. Next. And then it also, she can have it read to her. How many? So that's really nice. So she could, I could log her in and she could navigate this herself as a four-year-old. So that's the other thing I really like about CTC Math is for a family my size, we have eight children and to have them all log in and all be able to access their math under one subscription fee for an entire year and move as forward or as slow as each individual child needs is phenomenal for us. So, so that is how CTC Math works and that's what it looks like on the inside. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. I hope that gives you a really good understanding of exactly what to expect with CTC Math. Um, so I did mention a few pros and cons in the video, but I just wanna run through them again. Pro number one, big family friendly. Uh, one price, a decent price for as many children as you have. And um, the second is it's video based. Everything's corrected immediately and online. Records are easy, that's a huge pro. Third pro, you can move as quickly or as slow as you would like to and it doesn't affect your subscription whatsoever. You have a one year subscription and then um, you pay for another year and you can move as quickly or as slow as you need to. That's a huge pro, I really like that. Um, let's see, there's probably a million other pros that I can't think of, but the number one con that I had about CTC Math was that it does not help your student if they get something wrong. It's really hard to get additional teaching outside of the two to maybe eight to 10 minute long lesson video. Um, you can contact the company and they respond pretty quickly. But um, like I mentioned earlier, we had a really hard time understanding one of the lessons and we tried to contact the company and it was still really confusing. And I kept posing my question different ways over and over and over and I just didn't get a response that really helped us. So we just kind of, whatever, and just moved on. Um, so that is the one thing I don't like about CTC Math. 
I know that there are other subscription-based math curriculums where if you get it wrong, they actually walk you through like a video on what you like step-by-step -step how to figure the problem out. That would be extremely helpful. If CTC Math could add that, then CTC Math would stand far above all the other curriculums. Um, if they just added that one feature, which I know would take a lot of work because you'd have to go through every single question in the entire curriculum. Um, but that would make a huge difference. And this that would really put CTC Math up over the top. So how we use this curriculum. Um, so I had six children subscribed. I had my two seventh graders, my fifth grader, my fourth grader, my first grader, and my preschooler all subscribed to this. So my littles only did it maybe once or twice a week, but my bigs did it pretty much every day. And um, they would just log in on their own, do a lesson. My bigs would usually do about two lessons because they could get through them pretty quick and they wanted to just keep working. Um, they would have their, we have like uh, McGuffey, not McGuffey notebooks. We have like composition notebooks for every subject. So they would get their math composition notebook and they would sit down with a pencil. And as the lesson was playing, they would work through the problem in their notebook. And then they would have their notebook with them while they did the online lesson. So if they had to write out any math, they had a notebook where they kept all their work. So that way also like I can go back if they're struggling with something and we can kind of check their math and see how they're doing. So that helps to have that. Like I said, you also have the option of printing the worksheet, which you may want to do if you have a student really struggling. Um, you can generate questions from a lesson too for extra practice, which is really nice and those auto-correct. Um, so lots of options with that. So that's basically how we used it. It was really easy. I even had my big kids log in with my little kids and do their math with them, which was even less hands-on for me. Um, so that's kind of, that's really all I have to say. CTC Math is up there in our favorite curriculums, but it does have that really big flaw that actually kind of makes me hesitant to um, continue to use it, especially in the upper level math um, because I just, I really need something that's going to show them what they did wrong and give them more instruction if they don't understand something. Um, so other than that, we are going to continue to use it. Um, and I really like how it's laid out. I like everything else about it except that one thing. So check it out. Check out the links below. You can check out CTC Math. I can give you a link to their one-year subscription, which is what we're reviewing. And then I'll also include a link below if you want to hear or read or watch other people's reviews on this exact same curriculum. There's a link down below to go ahead and read other reviews because a bunch of us at the Homeschool Review Crew reviewed CTC Math today. So go ahead and check out those links below. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with people you know. If they're looking for a math curriculum and they're just starting out homeschooling and they don't know what they're doing and they just want something really easy, maybe they're not comfortable in math, maybe they have a big family, maybe they just need something that's video-based, that auto-corrects, that records are easy, this is it, guys. So go ahead and share this video with those people. And as always, please remember that Jesus is coming. Thanks, guys. Bye.